Isaac, Safe Infection here, making another episode. It is episode 22. See, I want to say 22, but I keep working ahead in videos so much to where I lose track. I feel like Mr. Krabs when they open 24-7. Day 15! Give it up for day 15! Welcome, guys, to another episode. It's your boy. Like I said, I'm here. I'm alive. I'm well. I'm blessed. And I want to tell you guys, life is a blessing. Do not take it for granted, ever. Opening up my trusty, handy-dandy notebook, just like the guy in Blue's Clues. I want to talk to you guys about one thing which involves something a little bit different when it comes to, like, things I talk about. What am I saying? Today, I want to talk to you guys about something really quick before I start this whole episode thing with the whole, like, cinematic thing and all that. This is simple. I want it to be, I want you to never let people stop you. So with the factor of me going to school back then, and if you guys don't know, I'm actually homeschooled now because I switched from public school. I had a lot of people that would make fun of me. I had a lot of people that would be like, why are you making YouTube videos? Or they'd be like, that's so stupid. And they'd tease me, they'd make fun of me and stuff like that. The thing is, is I never let them stop me. I enjoyed creating content to the extent of just keeping going even when people would make fun of me. I don't even care if the whole world is against me. I just love doing this and that's why I do it. And I figure if I can inspire one kid, it's always worth it. And that's what I want you guys to let happen. I just want you guys to never ever let people stop the person that God intended you to be. God created you for a reason with your own fingerprint, and that's a fact. It's it's never gonna not be true. And you're you for a reason, so please do not copy anybody else's persona. Just be yourself, be bold in who you are, and be proud of who you are. The creator of the freaking universe literally made you, and made you for a reason. Like, how mind-blowing is that? If you need proof of that, I'll leave a verse in the description for proof to even further the fact that that is actually accurate, because it's a really, really real statement. But my point is with all of this is that because you were made for a reason, haters have no reason to ever, ever make fun of you to the point to where you actually care. You need to realize that they don't like you and then you need to realize that you don't care because that's where the motivation comes in. You start to realize that if you're getting hated on, you're obviously doing something right because they're jealous of something that they lack. Whether it's creativity or maybe you just make some banging content or maybe you just got some stuff that they're kind of jealous of or maybe they're just jealous because you're you and they're not them. Whatever the case may be, just be bold in yourself and always be proud of who you are. And yeah, I'm not going to hold up more time with this vlog though guys. I want to jump into it. I just wanted to get this to you guys. And yeah, let's Let's, uh, let's go through this day. It's that time, and she hates it with a passion. Aggie, hey, honey, I love you. I'll be back after work, okay? Look at her face. Look, guys, she's so infuriated right now. It cracks me up at how angry she gets when I leave. It's like I can't do anything where it's basically without her permission. I think that's our relationship at this point. But guys, I'm not even kidding. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you guys something in the car. Hold on one second. Look at my baby looking fire today. Ooh, it's steamy in here. But no, guys, so I was, uh, so I was, we have these bars called Laura bars, or however you say it. I kind of transitioned from Cliff bars, and I didn't know which ones we had. So then I went in the closet, and I looked, and dude, there's a freaking cinnamon roll one. Like, I, I just thank you, God. <laughs> I'm gonna pick this up after work. I'll be back. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm done. I'm out of here, man. Finished work, good day. I really, really hurt my ankle. I got a story for you guys. So a little backstory before I start telling you guys. This is what my ankle looks like now. So I was just walking, carrying a flat at the store. And obviously when you carry a flat, you're supposed to push it and not pull it. But little did I know, the story behind this bad boy is of my own stupidity. So what I was doing was, is, is I was basically like pulling it from behind me. And what happened was, is the like bottom part of it just came up and it hit my heel. And it hit it twice, so I have like two slash marks. And it was so painful, but I was like in public still, cause I wasn't in the back room or anything hidden. So I just had to like internalize my anger and pain and like just sadness of my own stupidity. And I just kind of sat there and was like, <sighs> it's like, oh my gosh, and it freaking hurts so bad. And not even to mention, I think it's this finger. You probably can't even see it because it's so minute, but see that little cut? I have no idea where it came from, but then that started bleeding while I was working, while I was limping because of the fact that I couldn't walk on it. God bless the lady that gave me a band-aid too because that was seriously so sweet. She offered. It was a worker. It was a co-worker. I don't know her name though. She was awesome though. Shout out to her. But yeah, so I freaking was limping like a zombie. I was sitting there just carrying stuff and then I realized that I was profusely bleeding and I thought I was dying. And yeah, it was definitely not, a, definitely wasn't a good day. I guess I could just use that to give you guys advice. Even though this crap happened, I still used it to just be like, you know what? Things happen. It's okay. It's not forever. It's temporary. And that's what I had to really remind myself of. It was really hard, really painful, and really garbage. And honestly, I just hated the whole entire experience of it. But that's okay. I'm home now. I'm happy. I'm making videos, doing what I love. We're out here, man. We are just, we are just out here. Mm -hmm. 